You know, I have one regret that... Oh, ah, ah! Hey everyone, my name is Mike and in this video we are hopefully going to actually go and rescue Siri. Because um, we spoke to an elf who told us that he had took her to an island called the Isle of Mists and she is there now hiding from the wild hunt and we need to go there, pick her up, bring her to Kaer Mohen and then, then defend against the wild hunt. So our objective, our actual quest is called the Isle of the Mists, which is where we're going and the objective is to get on a boat. We can get on any boat, it doesn't actually matter what boat we get on as long as it's like in Skellige and now we're going to go sail to the Isle of Mists. So it's about 1500 feet away, so let's make our way there. So this is actually the best lead we've had in the entire game of knowing where Ciri is. I mean, this elf that we spoke to seems pretty confident that she's still going to be there, because he took her there to help her to, you know, save her from the wild hunt, so they wouldn't be able to trace her and know where she is, because I think she may be in, like, a magical barrier, like, where she can't be detected by the wild hunt. So we're the only people who know where she is, so it should be quite easy to get to her. The hard part is going to be bringing her back to Kaer Mohen, because the wild hunt are most likely going to sense her when she makes the move. Alright, so this actually is a lot further away than I expected. I've been sailing now for about two to three minutes. And um, we're still quite far away. The, you know, we don't get there that quick. We took a bit of damage on the boat from a few echidnas that were flying around, giving us a bit of bother. So it's not an easy ride to the objective. <laughs> it is a bit rocky. Now we're approaching this like island in the distance here. You can see there's a big tower on it. I'm not sure if that's where we're heading. It kind of feels like for the distance that we are, about 400 feet, that may be where we're going. I mean, it stands out, doesn't it, as a maybe a unique point on the map that we need to head towards, get involved in a big tower. So this looks interesting. All right, so here we are. We're heading in towards some land, going weaving between a few rocks here. I think we're still going to be going through the island a little bit. There's like a little um, tunnel, if you like, going between these two rocks. It is a bit misty, so it does suit the name, the Isle of the Mists. It's got the right name there. Right, we're very close now to the objective marker. Warning, save your game now. You're nearing a crucial point in the game's story. It is recommended you save your game in a manual save slot now. Why manual slate save? That's interesting. So, is this going to be... Okay, after travelling to the Isle of Mists, some side quests will no longer be available. Recommended character level 22 or higher. I think I'm 24 or 5. I think I'm 25 actually. So we're definitely high enough level. And I don't think I've got actually got any side quests left to do. So we're safe to continue. We've saved. We've got a cutscene. Here we go. So it feels like we may be entering the end of the game now. If that's like a warning to like make sure you do everything else first. What's this has he got? Is this a potion that he got? Did Jennifer make this for him? I don't even remember. So it looks like we've summoned this little orb of light out of this potion bottle. And it's now leading us to him. Um, where Siri's been hiding. I think that we got the pot bottle from um, the elf, maybe. Or maybe he told us like how to make it or something, I don't know. Alright, follow the firefly. We're playing the last of us again now, are we? <laughs> Fireflies! Watch my ass. Right, so are we... Yeah, we haven't gone far away from where we left off through the cutscene. I don't think. They're definitely surrounded by a lot of little rocks. So I'm expecting Siri to be in some sort of cave. You know, she must have like food, shelter, maybe it's a house, a hut. You know, she must have some sort of um Okay, where's the firefly? There it is. Oh, get off your boat! Get off! Shoot it in the face! There we go. Yeah. So I'm quite, I'm really interested and quite excited to see Siri now and see what kind of state she is in and where she is staying. We've got a few echidnas flying around. We're actually going too fast here. Overtaking the firefly a little bit. I'm not sure where to go. Right, there's, there's, there's a tower over there on the left hand side. 
Get off. Shoot it. Right, okay. It looks like we're maybe approaching the land now. Is this it? Should we stop? Should we go off the boat? I don't want to crash into the land and break my boat. Because I'm expecting that we've got to probably make our way back on the boat. Now, this is a little glitch here. Whenever you use your crossbow while driving the boat, whenever you try and get out afterwards, Geralt takes ages getting out the boat. You press circle to get up and he just sits there. So it's a bit annoying. But here we go, we're out now anyway. So let's follow this orb. There's a chest there. Could be something special. Nothing special. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, the orb seems to be waiting for us. So that's good that it didn't fly away. Um, tangle Law? What the hell is a Tangle Law? Ow. Yeah, we're gonna burn and bleed, bitch. Alright, so we are in a misty place, so the frame rate is gonna drop. As it always does on PS4. It's a bit of a pain in the arse, but... You know, it's still a playable, but it's not as smooth as you'd like it to be. Alright, so here we go. Firefly stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. Yeah, I had the feeling of being a hut. Because, like, she, she must be... I think she's been here for quite a while, so she will have some food and stuff and supplies, shelter and all that. She won't just be in a cave where she has to hunt herself, I don't think. Well, it's locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Yeah. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? So I'm looking for a young woman with ashen hair. Who are you? Let's just say we're looking for her. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. Starting to get angry. How many of you were there? That one. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. Buy my mum's beer. Get yourselves together, lads. You there! Outside the door! Geralt! That right! Sounds like a dwarf. Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck. Recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads. And the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle. But it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. So you're not going to hurt you? What do you want? And how do you find your way here? I'll say I'm not going to hurt you. Got nothing to fear from me. Said the fox to the gaggling geese. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Alright, I'll look for your lost mates. Um, I, We could do... Can we actually get in without having to look for his mates? Let's do that one. Open the door, or I'll open it myself. You try. These hinges, this lock, will withstand anything. Of course, you can always come back with a platoon of engineers, a battering rammer of a hack of a locksmith. Find the threats. We've only one cut. Would be better to help each other than argue. All right. What do you want? I want you to find our mates. Ivo, Berenk, and Gaspar. They ventured off, but they're on the Isle mission, and probably lost. Help them. Help me. Please, if anyone can find them, I know you can. Alright, well, I'll find Ivo and Gaspar. Where do I find? look for him? Yes, yeah, so there's three of them. This Ivo. Where do I look? Edgett insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. Alright, so east in the caves. Gaspard. Where will I find him? He said it was defeatist to sit and wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. And the other guy? Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Make you see one there. Alright. Alright. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Alright, so 
I don't know why. I mean, I'm expecting Siri's not going to be inside there. Because she would have heard that and, you know, come to the door. So I don't really know what we can get out of these guys. If anything, you know, I, mean, I think Gail would probably be wiser to continue to look around the aisle and try and find Siri instead of... I'm trying to change the objectives there, but I can't because I'm in combat. Um, let's just keep going down these this slope. We'll head to the one at the northeast. I think this is, this is probably the guy in the caves, isn't it? Because he said he, had, he, he went east. Right, these harpies are so annoying to kill. It's just because they're not hard to kill, it's just annoying because they in the in the sky obviously. You can shoot them down, but you sometimes miss and it's, they don't do any damage to you. Look how much little damage they did. It's like nothing. Look at them, it's just a pain in the arse. And when you shoot them sometimes, they're like over the edge and then they fall down away from you so you can't even finish them off. Right, we've got like one left maybe. Just shoot him. <laughs> Is he gonna die from the fall? Um, looks like he hasn't died. Here we go. So just come towards us. Come here, bitch. Nice. Done. Well, there's a guy over there. We can see already on the on the right hand side. He's a dwarf. So that's one of the guys we're looking for. How do we get to him though? That's the question. Did he jump from up here or did he climb up there? Let's have a look if we can get to him. Now nah, I'm gonna have to go down there. Maybe look at, look up at him and talk to him from the from the ground. Alright, hear me up here. Yeah, there he is. Okay, we've got a blue hag. What's a blue hag? What's the, what's the difference? Come on. Things die really easy now. I've got decent um, rune stones and stuff, and I've also got bleeds on my weapons. For my silver weapon, I've got fire and bleeds, so it, them combined does a lot of damage. Am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, ah, ah! oh he's dead. Surely. Geralt will die from that jump. Yeah, he's, he just said dead. Did he say dead or damn? Yeah, he's dead. I'm, I'm quite glad they made him die from that fall because if he would have survived that when I die all the time from jumping off half the size of that height, I'd have been pissed. Like, I would have been like, what the fuck? Why can a dwarf can survive that and I can't? So he's dead. So <laughs> Gaspard near the lighthouse. Let's hope, hope that, because we need to bring at least one guy back, and that way will the um, the dwarves inside the building will open the door to let him in, therefore letting us in. So um, let's hope that they all don't all die. Right. So we're gonna look, go inside this lighthouse and probably go to the top see if he's there. So this guy was going. I think he went to the lighthouse to look for a boat or something, or maybe try and send a signal out for a rescue. I can hear a voice anyway. I bet we're gonna startle him and he's gonna fall. <laughs> Here he is. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Um, your friends told me to find you. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afraid they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. Blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, oh. I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then. How does narcolepsy work? Is it like... Do you just instantly fall asleep, or are you always tired? I remember I went to school with a guy who was really intelligent. And like, maybe when we were about 13, 14, he, um, he was diagnosed with narcolepsy. And that kind of like ruined his life in a way, because, you know, he couldn't go to school at normal hours. He had to do um, separate tuition and all that, and it's it kind of bad. It's, it's, it's a really messed up illness. It doesn't hurt you. But it just really interferes with everything you do in life. It really sucks. Right, so, don't fall asleep on me here, mate. I think I may be narcoleptic sometimes, because I'm always tired. <laughs> Probably not, it's just me being lazy. Alright, so, um... It's, it's stronger than me, I'm so... Sorry. 
Can we wake him up? So wake Gaspard up. How do we wake him up? Just talk. Up. Right, right. Just a wee bit longer. Get up. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Right, so we gotta go back up this slope again. It's not that far away now, this same um, hut that we need to go back to. Just heading back to where we came. And then we gotta go back to the other guy as well. God, he's falling asleep again. I don't think that's how narcolepsy works. I think you just feel... You don't literally just go... Right, I'm going to stop and sit on the floor right here. <laughs> Is he up? Is he getting up? I spoke to him. Yeah, he's getting up. So we're, not, we're almost there now, I think. I think it's literally so just around this corner. To this strange place? Looking for someone. Here? Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. So we should make it all the way there now. It's in sight. Can't imagine. Look, that, actually, the um, that firefly I just realised is still there. It's above the hut. This place seems safe enough. Just be sure and come back. <sighs> and make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. So he's going to wait outside. He's not actually going in. I was wondering if we, if he was going to open the door, we could just barge in. But that's not an opportunity. We've got no opportunity to do that. So we need to go get the other guy. Alright, we're approaching where the other guy is, the last guy, and this looks like there's a big beast. I think that's a chort. No, maybe it's a fiend. It's like a big, um, I don't know what it is actually. It's a fiend, I know that, but I don't actually know what a fiend is. Whoa, is it a dead body on the ground? I think, I think he may have died fighting it. The guy we're trying to save. Wait, let's do a whirlwind on it. Never mind. <laughs> let's just get hit. Let's drink a potion. Do some extra damage. Here we go. Get some hits in there. Shit. Oh god, I'm, I'm quite bad at this. Just, here we go. So we've got plenty of damage. Like, we can kill, make um, hard fights look easy just because of the damage we put out. It's not actually an issue. Here we go. There's a dead body on the ground. One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. Alright, so at least we rescued one of them. Although he's still over there, so he may have been killed by now. So <laughs> we should be able to get inside the hut with one guy alive, because, you know, that's enough. We just tried the others and we can just say that they, they died and it wasn't our fault. Alright, here we are. Back at the hut. Brought you your friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Is he asleep? <laughs> uh, I'm awake. <laughs> Gaspard, stand back. I'm opening the door. Gaspard, ha, you seem a bit muddled. Uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shut. Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping, and uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry. Step aside. Why are you sorry? What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. No, nah, she, she's gonna be dead. She'll um just be under a spell, I think, making her undetectable. I don't think she'll be dead. No way. Well, so she she is in there then. Oh, 
And also those dwarves as well. Like, I don't think they're all going to fit on the boat. Aren't dwarves going to be quite heavy? <laughs> Alright, so we go inside the building. There she is. Hopefully the Firefly will have something to do with it. It might resurrect her or bring her awake, whatever, out of a coma. Maybe she... I don't think she's dead. Oh, she does look pretty bad, though. Her eyes are rolled up and her mouth's open. Why is her dagger wiggling? So, was she here when the dwarves got there, or did they bring her here? Because they said she passed, was it shortly before they arrived? So she must have been in here, and they arrived afterwards. There we go. This has got some, something to do with it. It's going to bring her back, surely. Yep. Sweet! This is brilliant. Awesome. Finally get to touch her. We're in contact. Say when she was a child. It's been a long, long journey to get to this point. It's pretty emotional. <laughs> Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. Isn't that the, um, Avalach is the elf that told us where she is? So we lifted the curse. He's, yeah, that's him, yeah. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Alright, so I don't actually know who Avalog is. It's just her friend that we haven't actually encountered. You know, he must be a good friend to her. Oh, there we go. The, the next question is, how did you meet him? How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eredin couldn't find us for... Oh, perhaps half a year. So why'd you return? So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me everything step by step. I know your story. Tell me how you wound up, wound up here. Um, let's get a recap. So tell me how it happened, step by step. 
Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalok began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalok, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalok refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalok opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venon. Alright, I know I followed your tracks. Yeah, so she came to the Skelliger first, even though we went to Velen first. So that's interesting. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you meet Horson Jr.? Yeah, because she went to Jr. with Dandelion, didn't she? To get the phylactery fixed. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. And I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage. One with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm. Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly. In the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Horson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. So yeah, she teleported from um, Novigrad, didn't she? And ended up here, I guess, because we didn't see where she went to. When she teleported in Novigrad. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so you actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. 
That was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time... Instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin, on horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn. What's happened? They took our boat! Dirty bastards! Shout them! Listen, we gotta think of a way to... It was cold. The wild hunts are coming. My god, they've got these sick boats, haven't they? Get us out of here. Uh, we don't have much choice there, do we? We've got to teleport. Are we teleporting straight to Game Warhead then? This is going to be nuts.